Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Dave Wonorowski from Dr. Dave's Best. That's www.drdavesbest.com. You're not actually going to physically see me, and I'd like to explain why. You may have read the uh, the news media in the past two or three weeks has uh, highly publicized a uh, a recent study that associates the use of high dose fish oil. High dose in this study was 500 milligrams, which, as you know, I consider normal dose 6,000 milligrams. But the study pointed out that at 500 milligrams, there was a 71% increase in aggressive prostate cancers, and it got a lot of media attention and news. And in keeping with that study by Dr. Theodore Brasky, thank you so much, Dr. Brasky, for this wonderful information, which means absolutely nothing. And in my opinion, you should be removed from science completely. Um, what I'm going to simply say is that, gee, Dr. Brasky, you must have been right because I am now a disembodied voice, which means I'm coming to you from the other world to do this test. The truth of the matter is that the ideal omega-3 test, uh, which we're about to do today, is one of the most important tests you can ever do. And your goal should actually be to mimic the um, omega-3, omega-6 ratios found in populations such as the Inuits and the Japanese Okinawan fishing villages, because these people have almost no prostate cancer, completely in, completely in contrast to what Dr. Brasky, the epidemiologist who should be studying populations, found in his study. Just for the, as an aside, that particular study uh, claimed a 71% uh, increase in, in prostate CA. When you actually look at the differences in the levels of the people they tested, and again, the study did not establish causality. It was simply a prospective look at one level of omega-3s. The people who had no cancer, low-grade cancer, and high-grade cancer were all within 0.2% two percent of each other as far as their omega-3 levels and in addition uh, the uh, the ratios of omega-6 to omega-3 in these all these individuals were approximately 75 uh, percent omega-6 and 25 uh, percent omega-3 which means they were highly inflamed like most of western society so this study means absolutely nothing to me i think it means absolutely nothing to me anyone who knows anything about omega-3 and omega-6 biology and i'm pretty sure that the individual uh individuals involved at the nci also knew this and did this simply to stir the pot uh, they can always hide behind the data and say, well, we're just reporting our data, but I think they know better. So we're going to be doing the Ideal Omega-3 study for you today, and I have a volunteer hand right here. Um, just a couple of caveats. Um, this study, unfortunately, uh, we're not going to probably be able to sell too many of these over the Internet in the uh, near future as of about August 1st, 2013, primarily because um, the HIPAA violations uh, or the HIPAA laws have become very, very stringent. And so at that point, you'll be able to get this study, but you're going to need your doctor, your own personal doctor, to write a prescription to have it done. Um, so you will be able to do it personally, uh, as we're going to show you here, but the, the actual prescription you're going to have to have done uh, by your physician. Uh, and uh, since I can't do that for you over the internet, uh, as of uh, probably the end of August of 2013, we'll no longer be carrying this incredibly important test. I'm very sorry about that. It's, it's a shame that regulations have removed this from simple to, to complex. I will also simply say that the odds are that your physician probably read all the Dr. Brasky studies and actually believed them, so it's probably not going to want to write a prescription for you. Um, but there is a, a side to that, and that is that if you believe Dr. Brasky, as I do not, uh, but if you do believe that and your physician believes that, then you want to be firmly ensconced in having a very high omega-6 level and a very low omega-3 level, which this test will also uh, prove for you. So there is plenty of reasons to do it. Uh, whether you believe a study as I do not or uh, if you do and your physician does and you think you should um, be highly inflamed and have high omega-6s and avoid omega-3s and eat two fish meals a week and get the mercury, lead, cadmium, and arsenic, go right ahead and be my guest. Um, this test will still be of good use for you. However, in my opinion, you should be shooting for the, the levels I mentioned, 60 plus percent omega-3 which would put you at 40% or less omega-6. So Kathy here is going to be our volunteer. I've got her hand. I've got the, the test. There's a serial number on this, and there is a uh, some paperwork to fill out in the test, which is pretty much self-explanatory. But let me open the test for you. I'm going to break the seal of this test now. And um, inside the ideal omega test 
kit is everything that you really, really need um, to do the test. These are lancets. These are preloaded um, and automatic, make it stick in your finger very, very easy. Here is the actual um, amount of paperwork that you have to uh, fill out. It's your first name, your last name, your date of birth, male or female, collection date, your address, and postcode, and your email address so they can generally email you the results instead of send them. Now, I want to bring this to the forefront really quickly here. Just hopefully you can see these two little circles. These two little circles are the circles that you have to fill with blood. They must be completely full. Uh, if they're only partially full, it's not good. You want to have all these full or you're going to get uh, an invalid result. They'll simply say not enough blood to do the test. The primary reason why there's never enough blood for some people is not because they don't know how to do the test. It's because their blood is too thick and clots because they are too omega-6 dominant. The other things that I want to show you here, um, everything has its purpose in this test kit, so don't throw anything out. This is an alcohol swab. This is a Band-Aid. This is a desiccant. Do not throw the desiccant out. You must have the desiccant in the kit for an accurate result. So I'm going to actually take the, the uh, foil pouch, which is how you send it back, and I'm going to put the desiccant in there for future use. And also in the box is this pre-labeled um, envelope, which you just send back to uh, Brooklyn, New York. So here we go. We're going to just take Catherine's hand and she's uh, let's just take your index finger if we may which is this finger right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to you can do this at home I'm just going to kind of so-called milk this finger just sort of add some pressure down here and um, it looks like I'm pushing fairly hard and I probably am but uh, the finger can tolerate a lot of this it's not it's not painful in any way is it no she's shaking her head no Okay, so now I'm going to simply swab it. So you want to have it fairly warm. If you want to put it in a little lukewarm, warm water, go ahead. Um, but the biggest problem you'll see, again, is that it takes work to get blood out for people who are on the thick side. Now, Catherine is actually uh, currently employed by Dr. Taste Best and, and is um, known to have a low level. However, she's been aggressively treating herself with the new Ultra 85, the high-potency um, fish oil that we sell at www.drdavestbest.com. Now, here is the lancet. The first thing I'm going to do with the lancet is I'm going to take and just twist off the little plastic thing and discard it. You'll notice there's a hole there. Inside that hole is a needle. I'm going to take Catherine's finger and I'm going to squeeze. You can do this yourself. I've done many of these on myself uh, and most people will have uh, to do it themselves. But I'm going to take Catherine's finger and let me move you this way. And I'm going to press firmly, and then I'm going to push down on this, this purple cap, like that. And you'll notice I got a little bit of blood there, and I'm going to start squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. And then I'm going to take the um, blood spot, and I'm going to have Catherine turn her finger over, and we're going to put it right there. And then I'm going to start squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. I can see that she's done better with her, with her fish oil, because now she's bleeding nicely and this is what you should be looking for. I'm sure Catherine your level is going to be much much better than it was before which is good news. We want to make sure that the people at Ideal Omega have an easy time of it and so we're going to go ahead and just continue with the squeezing. Much much better and as, as long as I can squeeze and milk this finger I can get plenty of blood um, so I'm not worried about this. Um, you may really have to work this if you're highly omega-6 dominant. You may really have to work this and it may take upwards of a couple minutes. We've had people go for five minutes. That took less than a minute. So now I'm just going to swab. Put just a little finger pressure on that if you would with your other hand. Just press that down while I prepare the band-aid. So there is a, a plenty ample sample. We can tell that Catherine has definitely improved her omega-3 uh, ratio or by taking the um, additional uh, higher dose omega-3 uh, ultra 85 available at Dr. Day's Best. Now this is just the spare lancet. We won't need that obviously. Um, and uh, I'm going to open the band-aid and I'm going to put it on uh, Catherine's finger and then we're going to call it quits. Once again, uh, you're not seeing me because I am a disembodied voice having been done in by Dr. Theodore. 
and send it off to Brooklyn uh, uh, with a first class stamp and uh, you'll get your results in approximately one month. So three hours of air dry, desiccant in the foil, uh, fill this paperwork out and then uh, later in the day um, make sure that you um, get it into the mail the next day. If you're going to store it overnight, I would recommend storing it um, in your refrigerator just so it doesn't degrade. Uh, try to send it in the mail as quickly as possible. Try not to hang on to it for days at a time. But again, if you're going to store it more than uh, a few hours, um, uh, then put it in the refrigerator and send it out the next day. Uh, the most simple logistic thing would be to do this um, in the morning and then send it out in the noon mail. Okay, thanks for your time. I hope this clarifies any questions about the ideal omega-3 test kit. In my opinion, your omega-3 ratio is the most important test you can uh, possibly do. I think it's far more accurate than cholesterol levels at predicting cardiac disease. Uh, it's certainly uh, been linked as an independent risk factor to many, many other things, including my favorite subject, telomere length. So once again, Dr. Dave from www.drdavesbest.com signing off. Thanks for your time.